Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-winning writer and comedian you know from his work on SNL, Oh Hello on Broadway, and the Netflix series Big Mouth. He'll be playing Madison Square Garden on June 23rd, 24th, and 25th as part of his From Scratch stand-up tour. Please welcome, there it is right there, From Scratch. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, John Mulaney, everybody! <laughs> Hi, Seth. I, How are you? I'm good. I can't help but noticing you brought a second suit. There's no other way to uh, bring it out here than to hold it. Uh, <laughs> you remember 18 months ago when you and all the all those people tricked me and confronted me? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. said my life was going downhill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I needed to make some changes. <laughs> Let's talk about the way you dress on air. Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> it's. They cured the pandemic. I mean, I don't read the news, but they cured the whole thing. Uh huh. We're wor we're not working from home no, anymore. No, no. You're not in an attic. Yeah. In in Albany or wherever you go when you're not here. Yeah. Um, you're still dressing like you uh, had a date and didn't want to wear the same clothes at work, so you stopped at the Gap in Astor Place and yep. bought a sweater. It's, um, I don't like to do this. You know, I don't like to confront people. No. But how about a suit again? I mean, if you want me to put that on, I'll put that on. But I will say, I feel like we put a lot more into our intervention for you. <laughs> oh, that, oh, what, because I don't have a car waiting? <laughs> that would have been really nice if you had a car waiting yeah, to take me SUV to a tailor. To take you to Pennsylvania. <laughs> you're going to spend two months getting fitted. <laughs> Listen, you're a 32 short, right? Uh, <laughs> Did Listen. you really think I was going to put pants on as well? I'll put the here. I'll put the shirt on. And while we're doing this, and look, I mic'd the jacket. Yeah, that's you I, did like that. I did. Yeah, I did. You that. did that. No one that worked hey, here. Hey, you know, me. Um, while I'm doing this, because I do take this seriously, um, you and Andy Samberg, uh, you co-host a talk show. You filled in for Jimmy Kimmel, and you guys took it super seriously. So I get that. <laughs> But that was that was uh, we were satirizing how badly you could dress. <laughs> This is just chronic. You Every can sit down while I change. You're making me very nervous. What if you need? You feel like I'm gonna make a like I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run for it. No, it's like my dad taught me at a restaurant. When your mother leaves the table, you stand up. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, look at that. Look at right over the crew neck. <laughs> You're gonna be Mike twice. See, that's rare in late night. That yeah. Go viral. This is uh, yeah, for people for the for the kids who love sound. <laughs> All right. Now, this is going to be good. That way, when I watch the show tonight, I won't think I'm watching rehearsal, which I normally do. <laughs> Does this, do you feel a lot happier? Put on the tie. All right. You're on TV. I feel like if this would have had, this would have looked nicer if I did it backstage. Well, there's no hey, time for that. How is your, oh, good, collar up? Yeah. <laughs> See, people go, now this is a show. <laughs> this is real. Look at that. How was your first Father's Day, buddy? Oh, Congratulations. My, thank you very much. My first Father's yeah. Day was a beautiful affair. What'd you do? Um, uh, my son, Malcolm, who's uh, nearly seven months old, uh, he uh, got me a, a plethora of gifts. Oh, yeah. he's. Um, I woke up, and I had breakfast with him. And his new thing is uh, when I turn the phone on, and it's in selfie mode, and I put it on video, he grabs it and slowly brings the camera into his mouth. <laughs> so all his films have the same twist ending. <laughs> I think I have a photo By of him way. and me when we were on SNL, I believe. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, you, you, I mean, again, it seems like you're forcing, I'm not the only guy you're forcing into a suit. Yeah, see? <laughs> I remember Malcolm's words were, if I'm going to 30 Rock for something show business related, I should wear a goddamn suit. <laughs> Well, sure, because he doesn't have the job yet. I, I know. have. The yeah, job. you're right. You're right. <laughs> if you're I didn't right. have this job, I'd be wearing a suit. I know the difference between you and Malcolm. Stature. <laughs> he says it every week. I do. <laughs> um, uh, you, uh, Olivia, uh, posted this. It just said my Valentines uh, are watching. Well, why don't you tell everybody what you guys were watching? Because I think there are a lot of different <laughs> shows that kids like, and and sometimes the adult. As a, as a dad, you have to watch a show that's maybe not for you. Yeah, there's that Coco Melon stuff. There's, yeah. uh, you know, the Daniel Tiger. And, and you watch these kid shows when you have a baby. So here we are watching Bosch yep. on Amazon Prime. 
which is about Detective Bosch, <laughs> and based on the Michael Connelly novels that kids yeah. love, right? And then recently, he and I were watching The Lincoln Lawyer on yep. Netflix. Also Michael Connelly, And he right? goes, wait a second, are there some crossovers? <laughs> I go, Malcolm, of course, The Lincoln Lawyer is Bosch's cousin. <laughs> and he's, I mean, you should have seen the look on his face. Oh, yeah. When kids catch, like, uh, crossover stuff, they just love it. Yeah. My oldest boy. <laughs> You guys, uh, uh, oh wait, I'm wondering, cause you know, um, well, we've got one as well. You know, we've got a little baby and I'm wondering if you have felt uh, the formula shortage, if you know, that has been something that is- Oh yeah, there's a baby formula shortage? Baby, yes, yeah. yes, so Malcolm uh, drinks uh, Enfamil Gentle Ease. It's the purple label Enfamil. If anyone here has any, I'll meet you in the parking lot and do, <laughs> I'll do all manner of things to get that. Uh, so Olivia went to Target uh -huh. and she goes, you, uh, you can only get four cans at a time. Okay. It can go pretty quickly. And so when she told me that, all my old drug buying instincts kicked in. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're saying we need to trick a pharmacy? Okay. <laughs> I was like, let's get some fake driver's licenses. I go in, I'm me, four cans. I come back a half hour later, Mr. Mustache, four more cans. <laughs> you go in, you're you, four cans, come back. Old Vietnamese lady, four more cans. <laughs> Also, I ordered some Enfamil on Amazon. Have you ever gotten an Amazon product and like, it's janky, it's not the real thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, terrible business, terrible business, Amazon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I get a, I get an Enfamil and I was like, is this real? I can't give this to my son. So I actually cut the bag open, dipped my finger in and went, yeah, that's real Enfamil. <laughs> this deal's good. This deal's good. <laughs> uh, I have a million more questions for you. We will be right back All with right. more from John Mulaney.